nothing beats a Jeep's rock soda. But why in the world am I promoting my only limited edition six pack here of the Jeep's rock soda? It's because I have a six pack here and then I also have a stack of plates. You might be wondering what in the world are we up to, but we're actually here to have a teachable moment that we'd like to share. And what we have here is going to be the Red Top Optima with a six pack. And then we have an Odyssey Extreme with what are called thin plates. And these are two completely different designs, as you can see, just by looking at the front. But this is almost has almost like a six pack kind of design to it. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll jump over to the Optima and show you a little bit more about that and some uh, some highlights on that and then we'll jump over to the extreme and show you uh, the difference between the two. Okay, the Optima battery here is indicated again. We talked about a six pack earlier. You can see this by these round sections here and they're gonna be three on the front here and three on the back and that indicates a six pack. And how they work is each one of these is going to be 99% pure virgin lead where most batteries are going to be using a recycled lead and then the way they're connected is being used by a casting instead of a weld and if you look here I'll take these off again we mentioned it's a red top Optima and you can tell that by the red top plastic here but because this is out of a Jeep these are 34 R's meaning that the plus and negative are actually reversed so on most cars you're going to have the negative and the positive but on this jeep that this came out of this is having a negative and a plus that's a positive and that's why it's called an r for the reverse so keep that in mind when you're replacing your your battery or getting a replacement but we're just showing you real quickly the optima battery with the red top design all right this is now going to be the odyssey extreme again this is the 34r pc 1500 Again, R mean that the polarities are switched, so we have the positive and the negative. The first thing we hear of here is the tin alloy brass terminals. With them being the tin alloy, that ensures secure corrosion-free cable connections. And then the reason that we finally have, we want to talk about, are these plates. These plates are just a representation of what's really in here. But what they are is these are vertically stacked across. They're going to be another thin um, layer of lead but these are again also as the Optima were 99% pure lead and by doing so those are going to be extremely thin but they can push as many as they can inside this small uh, container here but before they do that again if these were in here and you're just out going off-road you're gonna hear all this like clattering and there's gonna be a lot of vibration so what they've done is you can see here the AGM that's going to be a compressed AGM plate separator and that provides an extreme vibration resistance and these are also in here and they're separated and compressed before they're inserted into the case so again just think about all these thin uh, pieces of metal plates that go across and I'll also have a picture uh, to show you kind of a little bit of a, of a diagram of how that looks and a kind of a cutaway so you can see a little bit better on how those thin plates look inside the battery. Now we've been able to explain just a few differences between the two batteries. The next thing we're going to talk about is this small piece of paper. This paper I've had since 2016 and that's when we purchased this red top, not this particular one, but we purchased a red top Optima and it shows here that we then replaced it in 2018 which is less than just barely two years and these are supposed to last a lot longer than that we've paid a lot of money for that so we gave them one more chance and we went ahead with another red op red top optima and this one actually fell just just a, about a couple weeks ago that's why we decided we're going to step up and we're going to go up with the odyssey we got the extreme so this is actually what's going to go in our builds going forward but we're just going to let you know take that um, into consideration before you purchase one of these batteries just some things that we had run into and we've, we gave them a shot but we're now moving over to the Odyssey so again think about next time you ever see a plate or a can of pop you might think about different a little bit differently next time because they represent actually the way that these batteries were designed and uh, created for your rig so again thanks for watching Jeeps Rock we really hope that this helped you out we actually learned quite a bit when we did our research trying to find our next set of batteries and we can't wait to see what this uh, Odyssey Extreme can do for us thanks again for watching Jeeps Rock and we'll see you out on the trail <music>